Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, the links are down below in the description box. And just one more update. It is my birthday on the 21st of July, so I will be taking Saturday and Sunday off, but I should be back to business early this week or this coming week. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. All right, your person, Knight of Pentacles. Some of you, this is someone you work with. They could be a Cancer or a Pisces person. What they love about you, the Three of Cups. This person loves being around you. They can't wait to see you when you two are apart. I'm getting it's a colleague, but for some of you, that it's not the case. It could be a friend. It could be just somebody that you start dating, and they just they're always can't wait to see you is what I'm getting. It's always a good time. And there may be some mental conflict here, okay, about coming together for some reason. We'll see what that might be. And we have the full card, Aries energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries. We also have strong Cancer Pisces coming through. Regardless, I feel like this person, the Knight of Pentacles, they're very hardworking. I feel this is somebody who's been planning for the future. This is somebody who, yeah, like they probably have a bit of a nest egg. I feel like they're kind of traditional in that sense. They're solid. They're stable. They're secure. I feel like they're financially secure. All right. Let's see clear messages. I also feel they're very dedicated. The world card. Oh, I love this for you. So they could have some fixed energy in their chart, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. But this person, I'm wondering too, if they like recently finished a, a degree or they recently got a promotion or they recently like got their business off the ground. They're definitely experiencing success here. Yeah, but something here has come to an end for them. Ooh, maybe for some of you, they're detaching from a situation, but it actually feels like they're like no longer a student. Now they're like, they got the job of their dreams or they graduated law school or med school or something like that. So I love this because it feels like your person has been putting a lot of time and effort into something and it feels like they just graduated or they just, they just reached a major life goal is what I'm getting. I love this. All right. So we see the page of wands in reverse. So they might be a little bit hesitant about relationships or love because I feel this person has been like singularly focused on their career or their finances or finishing up school or maybe like buying a home. I feel like they've just been very, very focused for a while, Scorpio. All right, let's see. What else do my Scorpios need to know about this person? This person doesn't have children. I can see that, that this is somebody that's like waiting to do things at the right time. Like they, you know, before this person get, gets married or has children, they wanted to make sure they had the, they had enough money or that they had a home or that they had this stability. All right, let's see. All right, now we see mother, they have one or more children, but I do, I do see that they want children. Now let's say they do have children already. I feel like this could be just their background. Like this is somebody that like planned everything out. This is somebody that really like took things very seriously here. Um, as far as like their timeline, like they were very serious or very strict about their timeline of like when things would happen. Um, yeah, they have been deeply wounded and trust must be established to open their heart. So if this, if this is somebody who kind of like planned out their life at an early age and worked towards those goals, um, if it didn't work out or there was a major disappointment, I can see that that was quite a huge deal for them, right? Like if they did get divorced or they did end up being a single parent, like they just never saw themselves that way. All right. And for others of you, they have been closed off to love because they've been trying to figure figure things out. They've been trying to save. They've been finishing up a degree, trying to reach their goals. And we do get Virgo energy here. OK, so they're patient. They're definitely a patient. They're patient and they're planners. That's coming through really, really strong Scorpio. They may have a tendency to overthink and overanalyze. I can definitely see that. And that could be some of this mental conflict. Because I do feel this person has a checklist in their head as to like how and when things should happen. All right. We have the moon card. So this person is has very deep romantic feelings for you. 
This person's very intuitive. I also feel they're very creative. I'm hearing music. Well, I'm actually hearing a dog barking, but <laughs> I'm hearing music may be really important to this person. Just one moment, Scorpios. Okay, my dear Scorpio, sorry about that little interruption there. The dogs just started to flip out for no apparent reason or a reason at least I couldn't see. All right, let's see. So your person, very creative, very compassionate, very romantic. You know, I feel like they have experience. Like I said, if they, if they are divorced or separated or they are a single parent, I feel like that was really very, very hard for them, like a very, very hard decision for them. Um, okay. And you are on their mind and in their heart. You may meet this person online or you may meet this person through friends. Okay. And we have that this person may be very well known, or if you do know this person through friends, like everybody has a lot to say about them. I also feel like it's all really positive things to say about this person. For some of you, they might have a, a large social media following. Um, I'm also seeing that they're well known within their family, possibly the community, or maybe the world at large, right? This person may have tattoos. They may have a lot of tattoos even. Um, they grew up in a better than average household. They may use their middle name, so that could be tacked onto their first name, um, but it could also just be that they use their middle name and they can speak more than one language fluently, okay? And this person may have dark hair. Now remember, very, very specific messages here, Scorpio, are not gonna resonate with all of you, and that's completely okay. It doesn't mean it's not your reading, but they are gonna be confirmation for some of you. All right, let's go ahead and see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my Scorpios, please. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios, please. Okay, so this person may have short hair. This will lead to marriage, so there's a lot of potential here for sure. And they could have that earth energy. We get double confirmation of Virgo energy, but of course it could be Taurus or Capricorn. And you're going to find this person to be very sexy, attractive, and irresistible. Oof, all right. <laughs> there's like things falling down. I'm not sure what's going on here. All right, so... Let's take a look at what they love about you, the Three of Cups. So this person just loves your energy. They love being around you. The Three of Cups is like fun, flirting, wanting to date. Again, if you see them at work or out and about in the community or through friends or something like that, um, this person is just always so happy when you're there. So excited to see you. Can't wait to see you again. They also find you to be like warm, loving, and supportive. Okay. They really love, oh, they love the Scorpio energy about you as well. And Scorpios, you know, you're, you can be quite intense. I know I'm a Scorpio moon, but Scorpio energy is quite intense. It's very focused. It's very brave. It's very sensual, very mysterious energy, but they also see you as very loving. And with these two seahorses there, they definitely see you as soulmates. And with, ah, sorry, the Hierophant energy in reverse. Scorpio, I'm having all sorts of difficulties in this reading. <laughs> the Hierophant energy in reverse. Sorry, I just jumped because I've, I've hurt my foot somehow and I just um, pushed on it the wrong way. And so I like had it winced. It hurt really bad. So I do apologize. So with the Hierophant energy in reverse, Scorpio, this person sees you as very different from them and they really like that. So I am getting like an image of like yin yang energy that you two kind of fill in each other's gaps. You two have very different qualities, but like it's what each other needs or wants in a connection. And they might also really like that you come from a very different background. So you could have different religions, traditions, um, spiritual beliefs, socioeconomic backgrounds you know, ethnicities, but they're going to like that. That's what they're looking for. And we see the page of cups. So again, we see very sweet energy. And some of you, um, you know, you may end up having children with this person. And I'm also seeing like, for example, if they are, if they don't have children, we get mother and we get this page of cups, there could be an unexpected pregnancy kind of early on. So just be aware of that. Okay. All right, Scorpios, let's see what else does this or what does this person love about you? What does this person love about you? What else do they love about my Scorpios here? 
All right, we see storyteller, yeah. They love listening to your stories. They love the way you communicate. But they also know like when you speak, people listen. So you might not speak all the time. You might, you might not talk all the time. But when my Scorpios, when you open your mouths, people tend to listen. All right, and we see, okay, prostitute energy. Don't be put off by that archetype. It's actually quite a powerful one accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. Some of my Scorpios, we did see this person grew up in a better than average household. If you didn't, that they admire you for what you've done. They admire you. They respect you. If you didn't grow up in a better than average household, for example, they also love that you've, you, that some of you are self-made. They also see you as very successful and they see you having so much power in and of your own right. And at the bottom of the deck here, we see Prince. There's just this beautiful romantic energy that they love about you. They, they find you to be romantic, charming, and they're seeing so much potential for power or potentially this being a power couple. All right. So with the five of swords, beautiful energy. Well, it's not really beautiful energy. It can be a little bit of mental conflict, but I'm actually getting it that your person is detaching. So I do feel like maybe if they've been, you know, working a lot on a particular goal, or they've been working a lot towards financial independence or like finishing a degree or something like that. I feel like it, it is a little bit of a switch for them, you know, to focus on relationships and love. But I also feel like they are completely ready to fight for this and do what it takes to make this work with you, Scorpio. And we see an addiction is affecting this relationship. I don't, I'm not getting that at all. I actually feel like, you know, I'm, on my channel, addiction energy, obviously it can be drugs or alcohol or it can be spending, but um, it's more something they need to get out from under. And I feel like this person has been quite a workaholic and quite single, singularly focused on accomplishing something. And, and I feel like they've accomplished it or they're about to, and they've got to do an about face and, and kind of reprioritize. So that's what I'm picking up on there. Yeah, this relationship deserves a second chance. Okay, some of you, it could be a reunion of sorts, but my, uh, my, read, my, my intentions for these readings, Scorpio, are that it is somebody completely brand new. Okay, and we have friendships. So some of you, you're friends with this person or friends of a friend. We do see maybe meeting through friends. This, you're going to have a very strong friendship bond, which for me is so important. It's probably the most important aspect of a relationship that's going to last a long time is that you have that physical chemistry, but you also have that deep friendship and that support. And spirit saying you can trust your intuition when it comes to this person. I'm hearing spirits telling you to take a leap of faith and to go for it, Scorpio. All right, we get signs and clues. So you're probably getting a lot of signs and synchronicities here, Scorpio. Probably numbers. I am seeing 1111. Some of you 444, 333. All right. And friendly support. Yeah, some of you, you you're definitely meeting through friends or you are already friends with this person. Some of you, you're friends at work. Yeah. Okay. And we do see twin flame union. So it's going to be a very strong connection. Heart, body, mind, and soul. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my Scorpios regarding timing. Can we get some timing energy here for my Scorpios, please? Can we get some timing? We get April. Okay, if this person is an Aries, they could be an April Aries. Some of you, you maybe met this person in April. Maybe you've been friends since April. Maybe, you know, your first introduction was in April. But we also see that it could be as early as this week. All right, my lovely Scorpios, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Scorpios. Take care.